I had a young guy, Chabadnik from New York, tells me, listen, I don't think, uh, you know, I just watched your lecture, you're sure about Genom, this is not the way to teach in Hasidut. We, we learned that uh, Genom is not a punishment, it's really just a clean up, it's nice, so he obviously didn't watch the whole shiur. So I told him, listen, you're learning the wrong Hasidut. He says, what do you mean? They said, you're learning a Hasidut that's missing information. But don't worry, I have it for you. We reviewed over 1,400 sources from Hasidut, starting with the Baal Shem Tov, all the way to the Lubavitcher Rebbe. Over 1,400 books, 1,400 sources, and we made a shiu with Genom based on Hasidut. And you'll actually see that the real Hasidut, the real Hasidim, the Baal Shem Tov, Magid Mezrich, the Rabbi Elimelech Milizhinsk, uh, all of the giants of Hasidut, including the Tanya from Chabad, talk about Genom freely, normally, no different than we do and actually worse than we do. You didn't learn about Genom, you're missing a bit of information that can change your life. You're missing some information. You have, whatever you're learning has some truth in it, but there's lies too. The absence of information turns the information you have into null and void. If you have an important contract to sign and the, and the client tells you, listen, I'll sign the contract, but please email me the contract, I'll respond to you right away, but you have to do it before I fly on my trip for the next six months. So you have to email me by 9 a.m. No problem. You get the email, you work on the contract all night, three o'clock in the morning, send. 30 seconds later, error message. What's the error message? Email's not working. Okay, you look, you don't understand why, you press send again, maybe the email is wrong, maybe, maybe Google is going out of business. You try Yahoo, Yahoo is out of business too, you get the same error message. You go back to AOL from the 1990s, AOL.com, not working. You try all types of things, not working, not working, not working, all night. You're trying to figure it out, you're not working. Nine o'clock comes, you haven't been able to send the email. You call, the guy's secretary says, I'm sorry, he just left for his trip. He'll be back in six months. You have just lost a multi-million dollar deal because you couldn't figure out the email. Six months later, you see the client again. He says, yeah, what happened to you? I thought we were going to do business. No, no, I sent you the email. I don't understand. He goes, what do you mean you sent it? I sent it 500 times, it didn't work. Goes, no, no, come on, you're not a serious person. I already got the deal somewhere else. No, but I did it, please do something with me. Goes, no, I'm not kidding, I already bought it from somebody else. But I feel bad for you. Let me see, well, let, me, let me prove to me that you have, maybe I'll consider it again. Prove to me that you sent me the email. You show them your computer, because it's been in, imprinted into your mind. This email that you've sent 500 times. He show him the email, and within five seconds, he says, You fool, you're missing the dot and dot com. You have the right email, but it's missing a dot. Oh, no, come on, what's the big deal? It's only a dot. The big deal is that that dot makes the whole email either valid or null and void. If you hear a speech about the weekly parasha without learning Musar from it that's going to affect you and change your life, that's missing the dot and dot com. 
that speech is worthless. If you're not leaving that speech with something to take home to impact your life, you have just wasted your time and better yet, you've actually hurt yourself. And this unfortunately Rabotai, has been happening much more often than ever because of the internet. Just like Kadosh Baruch is allowing a lot of Kedusha to come to the world in an easy way, he's also allowing the Tuma to come.